Yo, what is up, everyone? What is up? It has been a super, super, super long time since I've actually done a video. Um, I don't even know, honestly, how long it's been since I've actually posted a video. Um, but I'm back with at least one more video. Um, I don't know how many more of these I'm going to post. Um, I've just been super busy with other projects, so... Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoy this video. Um, today I'm going to be actually talking about a particular product, a very, very popular product, at least, you know, in terms of the actual name of this product. Uh, there's various versions of this product, a bunch of, bunch of different versions, a bunch of different makes of this particular product, but it, a lot of people consider it the, the gold standard or the, one of the most popular popular um, weight loss supplements out there. So a lot of you pr are probably familiar with HydroxyCut. So this is HydroxyCut Hardcore Elite. So, I mean, I'm sure there's like a bajillion different versions of HydroxyCut on the market, but this one is called HydroxyCut Hardcore Elite. And I just wanted to try it out just completely out of curiosity. So I wanted to give it a shot, see what all the hype was about, see if it actually worked. And uh, this one just, I found this particular one on Amazon and it appealed to me. So I figured I'd, hey, give it a shot. So even though I'm posting this now in December, December of 2020, I actually tried this back in uh, May. So it's been a long time, but I documented my, uh, my results and all that good stuff. So I actually started taking this uh, back in May. And then I took it, I believe, through the end of July. And the way it's actually supposed to be taken is with, um, uh, you're supposed to essentially uh, ease into it. So what they recommend is to start off by taking one pill a day and then do uh, one pill twice a day for a while and then eventually um, move transition into taking two pills twice a day. So I actually never got to the level of taking two pills uh, twice a day. I got to the point where I was taking um, consistently two, two tablets a day. But you're technically supposed to get to the point of uh, taking two pills uh, twice per day for maximum results. So I took it um, on day one. I uh, took it, I believe I took it with dinner and didn't really notice much at all. Uh, second day, um, again, I took it with dinner. I uh, didn't really notice much at all, but I ended up waking up in the morning and noticing my stomach felt a bit weird. It, it didn't, it wasn't really a bad feeling. It wasn't necessarily a good feeling either. It was just kind of um, an awkward feeling. So that was after a couple of days. And then I believe day three, I ended up taking two pills that day. And then I noticed I had a little bit um, higher energy levels. The day four, I took two tablets and then it was like one in the morning and then one in the evening or one with lunch, something like that. Uh, but basically I took two tablets. So just once, one, one pill, two times that day. And then I noticed I had significantly higher energy levels. So I was very, very energetic. My energy levels were really, really heightened. And that's one of the biggest benefits that I noticed with this particular product. It uh, really increased my energy levels. So I noticed that on days when I skipped my hydroxy cut hardcore elite, on days when I skipped that, I... Um, essentially didn't have as much energy. On days when I took it, I was hyper, I was amped up, I was fired up. Um, it Usually a lot of times after work, um, I'm a bit tired and usually um, I can take a nap immediately afterwards. On days when I actually took this, I felt very energized. I didn't feel as though I had to take a nap after work. I was just so just really, really energized. It was very easy for me to wake up at like 6, 6.30, 7 o'clock a.m. and then stay up till midnight, no problem. Whereas on days when I wouldn't take this, um, it would be a lot easier for me to take a nap immediately after work at 5 or 6 um, or by the time 10 o'clock or 10.30 hit, usually I'd be pretty tired. But when I was on this, I I had that energy. So... 
as uh, as far as in as ingredients goes, you can kind of look. If you want to pause the video, you can pause the video here, and you can take your own look at the different ingredients. Okay. And I'll let you be the judge of you know whether those are good ingredients or whether those are, um, you know, if the if you think the dosage is bad. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below if you think. If you don't like the ingredients or you think the ingredients are bad or you think that the dosages are messed up, whatever you think. But it's got some interesting ingredients. Uh, one, caffeine anhydrase, which is, which is essentially caffeine, which is um, in a lot of supplements. It's in a lot of uh, weight loss products. It's in a lot of fat burning supplements. So that comes as no surprise. Uh, and that's probably where all the energy comes from, essentially. Um... Coleus extract, um, which is known as uh, Forskillin, which is actually a pretty popular weight loss supplement on its own. Uh, L-theanine, uh, cocoa extract, uh, Yohimbe, which is actually a, also another popular supplement uh, when it comes to weight loss and fat burning and all of that stuff. So uh, in, in my opinion, I've seen a lot of these ingredients in other weight loss pills and other weight loss supplements. So it it doesn't come as any sort of surprise to me and to me at least in my opinion i i think if these ingredients are indeed inside this product i i think the product is legit i think the the ingredients are solid because i think a lot of these ingredients although you know they may or may not 100 percent work for everyone um, I do know that these ingredients are pretty popular when it comes to the supplementation world and when it comes to weight loss products in general. So I, at the very least, they might work. And at least at the very least, in some studies, they've been shown to work. I know caffeine for sure helps a little bit with uh, weight loss and fat burning. So at the very least, you're getting caffeine and you're getting energy, which is good. Now, as far as weight loss goes, okay. So just to let you know, as you can see, I'm not really uh, a fat guy. Okay, as you can tell by the thumbnail on the uh, for the YouTube video, uh, I'm not extremely overweight. Um, that photo was taken before I actually got on hydroxycut. So just full disclosure there, that's not an after picture of me taking this supplement and then suddenly getting really cut and getting abs and all that stuff. That picture was taken way before I actually took this. So. But one thing that I like to do is uh, essentially stay lean. So I'm I'm a bit of a smaller guy. I'm uh, a bit lean, and I also exercise as well. And although I, I don't have a perfect diet by any means, I um you know do my best to eat at least somewhat healthy. I don't eat completely completely bad. My diet's not completely horrible, but it's not completely great either. Um, so I exercise regularly. I also, um, I'm okay when it comes to nutrition and diet and supplementation. So that's another thing to keep in mind. Now, so for me, did I get extremely ripped? Did I lose a ton of weight when taking this? No. Okay. Um, did it help potentially maintain my physique? Did it help me to prevent myself from gaining too much mass or gaining fat? Potentially. So there's no way to 100% tell for sure. I didn't really take it long enough or got off it long enough to really do any sort of real scientific, scientific test at all. But one thing I can tell you is that it's, it's very possible that it at least helped me maintain my physique. You know, it's it's really hard to say because there's so many different variables involved. But uh, I would say taking it may have potentially helped me maintain my physique. And on top of that, the energy levels were really, really nice. So I would say if you're uh, in a stage where you're uh, bigger than me, right? You're bigger, you're not very lean, maybe you're fat, and you want to lose a ton of weight, this is likely going to have a bit of a different effect on you than it did with me. So if, let's say, you're 300, 400, 200 pounds overweight, and you're looking to really lose weight, this might help accelerate that process, and it might help you out, and you might notice the differences. Um the other thing is if you're um, – another variable as well is I was only taking two of these tablets per day. Now, if I was taking, uh, like they suggest, two tablets twice per day, 
I may have seen even better results. Um, you know, I didn't want to scale up to like two pills twice a day because I thought, you know, I thought to myself the energy would be just too much. I wouldn't be able to sleep at night. And um, I felt as though taking two pills a day was adequate. I didn't really want to take any more than that. But if you're bigger than me, okay, so at the time that I'm filming this video, I'm about in the 150 range. When I was on this, I was like in the 140s or so, give or take. I've put on some muscle mass. Um, so, where was my train of thought? So if you're bigger, okay, that might have an effect, great. Right? You might be able to see results with this, better results than I did. Uh, if you take two pills twice per day, you might be able to see better results than I did. Now, again, I am not a believer in a magical pill, okay? There's no such thing as a product out there that's gonna magically make you lose 15 pounds overnight. It's just not gonna happen. If somebody tells you that, uh, they're, they're wrong. They're trying to scam you. But this may help accelerate the process. And I would say if you're a bit bigger and you're looking to hit the gym, you're looking to exercise and you're looking for uh, more energy levels, higher levels of energy to be able to tackle the gym and lift weights better and get on the treadmill and still have energy left to go home at, at night, uh, this is a product that can help you out with that, potentially. So at the very least, you'll have more energy to go to the gym and do more things at the gym and still have energy left over at the end of the day. So again, lots of variables to keep in mind. Again, this is just my own personal experience. Your experience may differ. You might not notice any of the same results that I did. You might notice some of the same results that I did. You might notice even better results than I did. So everyone's experience is going to be a bit different when it comes to supplements in general. As far as pricing goes, it's actually a, a really reasonably priced. It's actually about $15. You can get it on Amazon.com. Uh, I've got a link below in the description. If you click that link, you can go check it out on Amazon.com. But as far as uh, weight loss supplements go, that's a pretty good deal. Lots of weight loss supplements are more than that. You're looking at like $20, $25, $30, $50 plus even for various weight loss supplements on the market. So as far as pricing goes, it's really, really good. Now, as if you're at the point where you're really, really broke and you can't afford rent, you can't afford to feed your family, then I don't recommend spending money on this because, you know, you could just eat healthy or just maybe fast fast uh, once or twice a week and you'll lose weight, no problem. Just stick to exercise, just stick to fasting. You won't even have to worry about the supplementation. But if you can afford the 15 bucks, I would say it's worth giving it a shot, even if it's just completely out of curiosity, just like, just like I gave it a shot. So anyways, those are some of the pros and cons of the product and uh, my own personal experience. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this, hopefully this video uh, is somewhat fruitful. You got some value out of it. And uh, let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, phobias at all about the product or about this channel in general. And uh, let me know if there's any products you want me to review. I'm more than happy to check out uh, any sort of products that uh, you recommend or any sort of products that you're unsure of buying and you'd love to get an honest opinion about those products. Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, sup it up. Take care.